right, take a look at this. It's ready to roll, baby. Ready to roll. I said in one of my videos that... Hey guys, Capper here, and welcome back. Today's going to be a field day video, if you will. We're going to bring you some really cool camera angles with the tractor and the new chisel plow. I'm going to bring you a food plot update on several of my different food plots. But more importantly, this uh, land clearing spot where I've been working on all year, which used to be hardwood trees, is actually done. You're going to see the finished product. It is ready to plant which is going to happen very, very soon. So let's get out in the field and enjoy a beautiful 70-something weekend here in southern Illinois for mid-August. Now I'm heading back to one of my uh, deep, deep plots that's in a cedar thicket. But this is a huge advantage to having that top link right there. Because right now I got my nose down crossing you know these creeks and when you can lift that rear end up of the implement with that top link that gives you a lot more clearance man is she wet here's a before look this is a uh, was my best clover plot I had to redo it got taken over last year with weeds uh, I went up a gear now I'm in 2-2 two, two. I'm fiddling with the depth, just experimenting. What a nice job this uh, ripper does here. This is I'm starting my other, all my micro plots. It's just one pass. Um, this is definitely a tool that I needed. All right, here's a look after one pass. It literally took 10 minutes to rip this up in one pass. So now I'm gonna go over it again and we'll, that second pass really makes another change, but. Look at what a mess this plot is. I had forgotten about it and I forgot to spray it. So I'm gonna try and resurrect it. There's just a little bit of clover on that corner there. Um, this is my very first original micro plot, but I came in here, you could see on the edge, I brought the tractor with that new chisel plow and, I, and then I realized, dang it, I forgot to spray it and mow it. So actually I mowed it, but I didn't spray it. So I'm hitting it once. And I'll probably come in and mow it and work it up here in the next day or two. This is a tree row that I put in like my first year. And these cedars, you see they all survived. To close, except for one, to close in this plot right here. So on this triangle plot, this is a good example of this uh, chisel disc plow. So this is burned off um, areas, but it's all sod. So this is really one of the main purposes of this. So I'm going to take you to the other end of this plot, but basically I'm going to plant a horseshoe around the outside and then about a, one fifth of it on the other end. Mrs. Capper's got some cool angles here. So let's see how we do in uh, burnt off sod here. This was another one from the fall. Um, I replanted everything last year, but this clover plot survived. So I'm going to supplement it here on one one corner and then one strip on the outside with a fall plot.
tilling under these soy beans in my house plot because uh, they're just they're not enough. Um, I I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, just overseed brassicas. Uh, but I don't subscribe to that only because if you prepare the soil really well, you're going to get way more tonnage. And when you overseed, you're relying on the rain. Um, now, now, if these beans were at least a foot, foot and a half tall, then yeah, I'd probably consider that. But they are literally, you know, eaten down to six inches tall. So that's why I'm tilling them under. It's going to be a beautiful fall plot here. And this half is clover. Just did a little spot spray, and I'm going to mow that. So it's looking pretty good right now for this fall. All I can say is I'm glad we're not building a house, I guess. This one I was going to give one last chance, that's right, I might not tear this one up because I mowed it and fertilized it. So this might be a wasted trip, but we'll see. Oh, this is a steep one. Kind of see how steep it is on the banks. Oh, I scraped on that one. That pond needs fixing up. Oh, it's looking pretty good for clover here. Looking pretty good, so I don't think I'm going to redo this one. It's making a nice comeback. Okay, now I'm in the brand new section of food, future food plot here. One more uh, run. I'm on my second run here for the, uh, the soybean patch. And then I'm going to break out the grapple to finish this off back here. And we're going to be planting here very soon in a couple days, day or two. Look at this dirt, this beautiful dirt. See, it's really starting to take on some shape now. Uh, running it crossways like this is knocking down a lot of. Hang on a minute, I only got two hands. Running crossways is knocking down a lot of the stump holes. Uh, I think I run the root grapple on this and then it's ready to plant. Um, I don't. don't I think I'm going to run the tiller on this, this new section for this year. Here's a look at it all done crisscross. It's all blended in with that bean field now. We yanked quite a few small stumps that I had missed. So uh, this thing is looking really nice right now. 
right, running the grapple over this spot. You can see my last swipe here. Not only is it pulling a lot of the sticks out, but it's leveling it out some. So let's uh, take a couple more runs. videos that to try to visualize this as a lush green food plot and someone's like yeah I don't think it'll be that but my aim is to have it yes a lush green food plot this fall a lot of that's going to depend on mother nature but I'll do everything I can but wow look at this beautiful 